Hi, third grade, we're back, and we are on our assignment now. If you've had some time to practice those other pages, um, we should go to page 571 now. And at the top of the page, it says, write the time for the activity. Use a.m. or p.m. So the first one is done for us, and we can see that, let's see, baby says it's 12, and you count the minutes after 12. You say it's 1220. And if you're eating lunch, number one says you're eating lunch, that would be past noon, past midday, p.m. Let's look at number two. Okay, they gave us the time, so we just have to write 2.53 on the line. And we're going home after school, so would that be 2.53 a.m. after midnight or 2.53 p.m.? past midday? Write your answer in. Number three, it says you are going to see the sunrise. Well, I see that it is six something. Baby says six. How many minutes after six? Count them. Write it down. And if you're watching the sunrise, Hmm, that must be really early in the morning. So is it after midnight? All morning? Or is it past midday p.m.? Past noon. The sun is just coming up. Number four. You're going to go for a walk. Oh. Well, it's three something. It's not quite four o'clock. It's three. You write in how many minutes after three it is. Write the time like the digital clock. And if you're going for a walk, let's see, would that be past midnight? Past midday? Past noon? Like the afternoon? Or would you be going after midnight? A.M. 4 a.m. after midnight, or 4 p.m. past midday, past noon. Number five, you're going to school. They say it's 8, 10. Now, are you going to go to school at 8, 10 in the morning or at night? You're going to go in the morning, so is that after midnight, all morning? Or would it be p.m.? past midday. Number six. You're at school now and you're getting ready to go to art class. And it says that it's between 10 and 11, so it's 10 something, 10, you add the minutes to the time, 10 whatever, but would we be going to art class in the morning? after midnight a.m.? Or would we be going past midday, past midday, after supper, in the evening? Number seven, one half hour past midnight. Let's take a look at my clock. Here's midnight, half of an hour, halfway around. Write down what time it is and tell me, a.m. after midnight or p.m. past midday? The next one, one half hour after four in the morning. Four. Okay, we know this says 4 o'clock, but it says it's halfway past the 4. So halfway around the clock, write down the time. It's, oops, i got to get that exactly right there. So it is, what time? And if you are 
in the morning. You're sleeping. It's dark. Is that after midnight? A.M. or past noon? P.M. Number nine. Jamie or Jaime is in math class. What time is it? Baby says it's one, and you have to put in the minutes. One, ten. Write the time. And if you're in math class, would that be past midday? You've had lunch, and now it's past midday, p.m.? Or would that be after midnight. Number 10. Pete began practicing his trumpet at 15 minutes past 3. 15 minutes past 3. And he's practicing his trumpet. Boy, I don't think he'd want to be practicing his trumpet when we're supposed to be sleeping. So we have to decide if it's, this is what it looks like when it's 15 minutes after 3, you're going to write the time the way it would look, 3 dot dot. And if I'm practicing my trumpet, would that be past midday, like after lunch, or would that be a.m. past midnight, or after midnight, excuse me, a.m. after midnight, or p.m. past midday. I don't think you want to wake everyone up practicing your trumpet in the middle of the night. Okay, next page. Page 572. Stephen is doing his homework. What time is it? Well, we see that it's 4.35. He's doing his homework, and he's doing it before he can go to bed. In fact, he's doing it before he has dinner tonight. So is that a.m. after midnight, or is it p.m. past midday, past noon? Number two. After he finished breakfast, Mr. Edwards left for work at 15 minutes after 7. Now, some people do go to work at night, but Mr. Um, Edwards does not. He goes in the morning. So we need to see what time, um, 15 minutes after 7. So my clock is going to look like this. Sometimes I, I leave a little bit before that to get to school, but sometimes it's about that time. So baby gets to say first it's seven, and you write in the rest. And if he's going to work in the morning, is that after midnight, all morning? Or is that past midday, past noon? Okay. Number three, what division equation is related to the multiplication equation? Well, we know that if we're going to write the division problem, we're going to start with our biggest number. So we're going to say 24 divided by blank equals blank. You'll fill in the blanks. Number four, there are 50 toothpicks in a box, in each box. Jaime buys four boxes for her party platter. How many toothpicks does, does she buy? I don't know if that's Jaime or Jamie. Um, but she's got 50 in one box, and 50 in another box, and 50 in another, and 50 in another. We could count 50 four times. Or we could multiply 50 times 4 to find our answer. 
Number five, a pet store sold 145 bags of beef flavored dog food mm. and 263 bags of cheese flavored dog food. Yum. How many bags of dog food were sold? They want to know altogether how many bags of beef and cheese flavored dog food did they sell? That sounds like we should. You go ahead and do what you need to do. We want all together how many bags all together. And number six, you're going to compare three sixths and four sixths. Now they have a common denominator, six. So we just have to look at the top numbers and put in our sign greater than, less than, or equal. All right, I'll see you later. Have a good day.